Hello, I'm Engineer Shaya and I'm a technical support engineer at Asenware. Today this video is about the conventional parallel alarm control panel. We have different, uh, different uh, zone-wise parallel alarm control panels. We have 1 zone, 2 to 4 zone, 4 to 6 to 8 zone and uh, 10 to 32 zone. Uh, we can check it by the way we want like this is uh, our 2 to 4 zone control panel. You can see this is uh, the iron shell. This, this uh, is the 6 to 8 zone. This is 1 zone and this is 10 to 32 zone. It comes in two body cases. This is the iron shell and this is for example, this is the plastic and iron shell. It is the diabetic type and for wall mounted this is the iron shell. The back and front both are iron. It has three phases. Uh, the panel ca panel keyboard can be controlled by this if you do like this it's disable and if like this it's enable and then can be go inside uh, by this key like this it sports uh, gsm uh, function and uh, it have uh, in each zone you can connect uh, up to one uh, wireless sound strobe with transmitter and uh, with the uh, each uh, sound strobe you can connect up to 20 wireless devices and it can be programmed in each zone so that uh, when the fire will come in any zone that it will show in the zone i will show you all the zone, uh, zone and uh, main board uh, functions and it also uh, uh, it also supports gsm or gsm function like uh, if the fire will come in any zone the mobile uh, the gsm module will send the message in the mobile it can add up to 10 mobiles uh, it is, the module is connected by RS-485 port. So if you order any conventional system, if you want the GSM function, you have to uh, specify in your order that you need uh, GSM function. We, and it supports also the 4G uh, networking. And uh, uh, like this, now I will show you the uh, system of uh, this fire alarm. This is the 2 to 4 uh, fire, uh, conventional fire alarm control panel. You can see this is the fire LED in case uh, the uh, system uh, sense the fire this LED will be on this is for power on if, if when the AC power is given through the panel this LED turns on this is for the system fault uh, in case that there is any communication fault between the uh, panel and the devices this LED will turn on and this is for the reset when you reset the button this panel will restart again and go to the standby position this is for mains fault if uh, we have uh, ac com ac problem in the fault the uh, or if we don't have the ac this is the this fault will the will come and fit this is for the battery fault if uh, we don't have battery in the panel or there is some problem in the panel or we need to bat replace the battery this fault will come this is for fuse fuse fault or any fuse if burnt down or broken we need to change it so this fault will go away this is for the panel buzzer silence when the uh, when this will this panel will sense the fire uh, this the, the panel will start uh, buzzer so we can press this button and this uh, uh, panel will st stop it and this is for any kind of fault this general uh, fault will display general disable if you disable any device or any zone this uh, general display will, uh, led will turn on for the earth earth fault this led will turn on this is for the remote sound silence when the uh, panel sense the uh, fire it the all the strobes and bells uh, uh, start ringing so you can uh, silence it by pressing this button and uh, these uh, leds are for the sounders for any sounder uh, in the state of active this led will turn on if any sounder is short or have any problem this led will turn on if the zone is open or the sounder wiring is open this led will turn on and if we want to operate this system manually we just have to press advocate in the case of fire and the all system will start working so this led will turn on these are the zone uh, switches from if we will press it we can disable any zone and by pressing again we can enable it and in case of short and open these leds will turn on in all the zones and uh, in case any zone will sense the fire this led will turn on now you can see that uh, <coughs> We will open this panel and we will go inside and check uh, and uh, demonstrate what's inside it. So, so you can see that this is the RS-485 port and this is used to connect the GSM module or the repeater. This is the relays given for, for fire and fault. Uh, these have N NC command NO terminals. These are the two bell ports. This is a two to four zone. So this uh, bell, uh, this uh, each bell has around 300 milliampere limiting current. And uh, this is the 24 volt uh, auxiliary, 100 milliampere auxiliary 
uh, outboard uh, uh, terminal and these uh, the terminals are the for the zones zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 and uh, the, because this is the series conventional system so uh, whenever you connect the device with it at the end of the device you need to put the end of line 6.8 k resistor this is for this is the main line coming l and e and ac and this is the ac switch and uh, this is the 250 volt 1 ampere ac fuse and this is the transformer you can see this is the input two red wires these are the input 220 volt uh, 60 uh, 220 volt uh, 230 volt sorry and this is the uh, output 24 volt and uh, this is the battery, uh, battery uh, switch this these are the battery terminals you can connect uh, two batteries here uh, the two batteries are uh, about uh, 12 volt 2.3 ampere hour a good standby time up to 24 hours and uh, this uh, you can see this is the 24 volt fuse and from this lead to here the main board is connecting to the interference port and uh, this is you can see that this is for programming this is for uh, main board programming and this is for the zone programming if you uh, connect it to wireless this is the the wireless can be connected only with the 4w series and now this you can see this is the 6 to 8 zone panel it have the same uh, fire and reset options same panel mains fault and every fault it is showing this is the general and disable and earth fault and uh, this is the sounder options here same like uh, the uh, 2 to 4 panel and here you can see that the it is showing more zones it is from zone 1 to zone 8 and inside it same and here in this panel in this series you can see that terminal for fault relay and terminal for uh, sounder relay are more added you can see you can add zone wise for the fault fault relay and sounder you can add more with the zone wise and uh, now this is the 10 to 32 zone panel here you can see these are the zone uh, connections this for zone board it's written here that it's for zone board 1 zone board 2 zone board 3 zone board 4 and zone board 5 there are total there are five zone boards and they are connected here it's connected like this and here we have we have the zone options from zone 1 to zone 32 this is the transformer this is rs 440 485 port and power uh, and auxiliary relays uh, and fault and uh, fire input and two uh, bell uh, ports also with uh, 450 milliampere limiting current we can add up to uh, 950 uh, ampere bells with this and now here you can see i will show you the switch that uh, in this in this panel because here uh, you can see that we have the terminal for fault relay output from zone 1 to zone 32 it's added in this uh, series of panel and terminal for sounder output from zone 1 to zone 32 and you can see here that we have a switch it's a dip switch from here we can set this panel from 10 to 32 zones we need to for example if we if we put it all off to zero it shows that it has 12 zones and when we put it to one 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 means off off and on and uh, one means that it this panel will operate now on the 16 zone and same two setting is you can see here this is off on and off so if we will set it to so it means that uh, this set uh, this panel is uh, working now as uh, a 20 zone panel and same like up to five five means that this panel is working on uh, 32 zone panel and this setting is on off and on and here you can see here you can see that we have switches also also added in this 32 we have option of switches for sounder sounder and fire protection fire routing file fire, uh, fault routing we can disable it we can see if it's short or open and, and if and if it's active we can see it for fire options fire option is is here and fault and all mains fault and battery fault it's given reset panel buzzer and remote sounder silence is here and here you can see that in every row the four zones we can see it's total 1 to 32 zone every zone has every zone is showing fire short open and disable if you press this button it will disable it and if you press it again it will enable it and uh, now we have this uh, 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 
conventional control system. We are practicing some devices in it. This is a four zone system. I will give you some detail about it. This is a four zone panel. It's in active state now. We have provided power to it. You can see that it's uh, the LED is on and it's showing that the it's it's been powered. And this zone is connected to the four uh, four zone system. And you can see that there are four zones. This this is zone one. This is zone three. Zo zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four. In zone one, we have like uh, smoke detectors, heat detectors, conventional. Uh, smoke and heat detector, smoke detector, heat detector and smoke detector. This is the end of device. So we need to add a 6.8K resistor with it. You can see it here, like the connection. This is a 6.8K resistor. Other, if, if we will not put it, it, the panel will show fault in the zone. And this is, uh, you can connect at the end of the, uh, also connect the entrance indicator LED. You can see the connection from start to then positive comes to two and from six uh, positive comes to two positive and negative goes from five to five up to five ports. <coughs> and now <coughs> these are the standalone directors we are connecting in zone two. I told you already that uh, the system also supports the wireless uh, detectors, uh, wireless detectors connected with the wireless probe uh, sound wave transmitter. These are the 10 years standalone, it comes with 10 years standalone battery and uh, you can press it like this to check it. And if they, and they have the alarm also, if they sense smoke, they will alarm and the device will alarm by itself. You can see like this. This is a beam detector. This have, uh, 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 different sensitivity levels from low, low, medium and high and it, uh, it has four spans like from uh, 8 to 20 meter there is one span, 20 to 40 meter is other span, 40 to 70 is third span and 70 to 100 is the fourth span and uh, if, if for, if, uh, for, from 8 to 40 meters we just need to use one reflector with the transmitter and if we uh, if we have spans from more 40 to 100 meter, we need four reflectors with the transmitter. These are the ultra uh, flame proof detectors. This is ultraviolet uh, flame detector. <coughs> this is dual ultraviolet. You can see this is dual infrared flame detector, and it is both uh, flame uh, int ultraviolet and infra inf infrared combined flame detector. They use both the technology of uh, infrared and uh, ultraviolet, and they can detect up to 120 degrees and has the range of up to 60 meters and uh, uh, this is you can see in zone 3 the, the, uh, the gas detectors are also connected this is the GSM module and uh, it has uh, the capacity from here inside if you open there is a port for the SIM, SIM card and you can open the SIM card uh, and you can insert the SIM card and the, uh, the message will go in case of fire up to 10 mobile numbers this is the repeater panel you can see that if it will work, if, uh, because I'm not connecting it, but if it will work, the LED will show here and from zone one to zone 32. In case of fire, for example, the fire is in zone 11, this LED will turn on or any kind of zone, like zone 24, this LED will turn on. Now, these are the uh, manual call points. This is the push push station connected to this zone. This is a manual call point and this is a weather proof manual call point. This is a four wire device and uh, and this you can see that these because the, there is a sounder terminal in this panel so these uh, sounders are connected in the zone wise you can see this is for sounder zone 1 this is sounder zone 2 zone 3 and zone 4 and these bells are connecting uh, uh, in the bell ports up to 4 to 4 uh, 4 to 5 uh, uh, bells and sounders can be connected in the each port and also it has 24 hour auxiliary uh, output so if uh, you want to add uh, uh, more smoke detectors like uh, if uh, because in each zone in 4 to uh, 2 to 4 zone in each zone you can you can connect up to 20 uh, uh, detectors including mcb and in uh, 6 to 8 zone also you can connect up to 20 detectors into including the mcb and 10 to 32 zones you can connect the 16 detectors including MCB and if you want to increase the detectors in each zone you can connect some detectors uh, uh, in 24 hour uh, auxiliary output also with uh, 24 hour auxiliary output and you can increase some devices including the 4 wire smoke detectors and if you need more detectors in the zone you can also add a power box that comes in 2.5 or 5 ampere and uh, uh, you can see the uh, devices you can add uh, uh, in each zone with uh, adding the power box in the manual.
so it will give you more devices and also through wireless option you can add more devices each zone can add up to more 20 devices connected to each trans uh, addressable uh, uh, sounder stroke transmitter so this was the written introduction, introduction and training of uh, conventional fire alarm system i hope you understand it and we come next with the better information thank you